Welcome to Insights. This week we are with Greg Healy. Welcome, Greg. Thanks, Dave, for having me. Yeah, and Greg has a background in finance, uh, used to work on Wall Street and with various banks and so forth. And so we're going to get some insights today related to the financial world. Um, so, Greg, if you can start us out here with sort of your evolution um, in terms of where you saw the markets uh, 25 or so years ago when you were first moving into this whole realm sure. as your occupation and where you see the markets now. Yeah, great. You know, I went to school in the 80s and coming into the 90s when I began my career, it was my my own personal ambition and American dream to be a success in our own business environment. And for me, there was no greater height than Wall Street itself, kind of the backbone of our whole economy and trading both stocks and bonds and other things like commodities. Awesome. And so when you sort of innocently moved into that world, describe to us um, how you uh, would view the markets and then um, how that changed over time. Yeah, absolutely. So I, being a red-blooded young American coming out of school, just was interested in uh, doing what everybody else who wants to pursue a career in business or finance wants, and that's uh, to seek a path of success for myself. Um, and in doing that and pursuing that uh, career, many doors were opened up and um, some great things happened in my own life, uh, professionally. And so one thing led to another and I found myself in kind of that dream position that I'd always envisioned, which was being, to be in investment banking and to be in, um, brokerage, uh, in equity sales and so forth. So that, that's where I went. But what, what changed for me was that I looked at Wall Street as an innocent system of capitalism that just was simply facilitating the free trade of our economy and that it was in itself just neutral or good. Um, and then when I started discovering, as God wooed me back to him, kind of exposed me for who I was selfishly and showed me the a picture of who I was in him, in Christ, rather than in myself, in pursuing God in that way, he started revealing to me the truth of what our economy looks like or what our financial markets look like. And the truth of what they look like is they're really driven by things that are not God-centric, but self-centric. Mm -hmm. yeah, and so when you began, um, if I understood correctly, you saw the markets as just simply infrastructure to get things done. Uh, can you describe that a little bit more? Sure. You know, capital formation and buying and selling of anything in itself is just a mechanism, price discovery mechanism, for example. But when man is uh, using those tools for his own purposes, and those purposes are apart from God, and they're even hijacked by evil forces, what we see is a pursuit purely of making money at really any cost or expense. Um, and it's justified because that's what brings forth wealth or brings forth provision for family or for the even states in the nation. Um, so what, what really no one will disagree with is that the markets are driven by two primal spirits, which are fear and greed. And neither fear nor greed are uh, good. They're not of God. They're sin. Yet we find it acceptable because we think it's efficient and a good way of uh, producing profit. So I think what, uh, what was revealed to me over time, especially in 2001, was this concept of coming out of a system like that, a Babylonian type of system. And specifically, God showed me through Isaiah 52, which was a message to Israel to come out of Babylon and to come back and return to him and replant, was for me to come out of this construct and being dependent on it and viewing it as part of my own success. <laughs> well, well, Greg, uh, next week, would you be willing to share um, about what you see for the future of the markets and how these spirits of fear and greed, where they're taking us. Absolutely. Love to. We'll see you next week on Insights.